morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for all the intentions of your sacred heart, the salvation of souls, reparation for sins, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and priests, and of all apostles of prayer, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father for this month. We pray that those suffering from addiction may be helped and accompanied. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, today is 22nd of April. We observe the Earth Day. And also it is the 50th anniversary of this movement started in or 1970s, let us pray that all of us may take action towards preserving this earth, our common home. Let us also continue to pray that all of us may be healed and many more people come forward in alleviating the pain of the present crisis situation. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist in a worthy manner, let us acknowledge our sinfulness and ask God's pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall, year by year, the mysteries by which, through the restoration of this original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith, we may possess in unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, let them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. 
When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison. So they came back and reported, We found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, The men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the people. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, so that everyone who, deliver, who believes in Him might have eternal life. be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory, glory to, to you, you o lord, lord. <clears throat> god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life for God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. Whoever believes in Him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world but people preferred darkness to light because the works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Peace be to you, dear friends. There was a certain 
father and his son who loved the artwork and they had the best of collection of paintings all over the world and their hobby was collecting paintings and having in their home so their house was full of beautiful paintings and they told their neighborhood about their painting and they're very proud about it and in the country the war broke out the son had to go for the military service after a few weeks the father gets a message saying that his son is missing fighting the war the father was heartbroken he grieved for his son and hoped someday he would come back the days went by the next uh, after one year on the easter morning there was a knock on the door the father opened the door and found a soldier with a big package and the soldier said i am the friend of your son and your son died on the war as he was rescuing me he took the bullet which supposed to pierce me and both of them went inside they spoke about the war and the beautiful paintings that there were there and the soldier said your son told me all about the paintings and your love for the paintings i am not a big artist but i learned from your son and here is the painting that i have drawn it is of your son and the father was in tears and the father hung that painting at the main place in the house after few years the father died and the art lovers of the country came together to take the beautiful paintings it was on auction and the auctioneer began the auction saying the first picture to be auctioned is the picture of the sun and all started to grumbling what a picture it is not that a famous picture and not beautiful also let us start with some of the costliest paintings the best of the paintings but the auctioneer continued said let us start with this this is the will of the old man the auction has started 100 dollars nobody raised their hand there was a silence it went on but nobody uh, bid for it and there was a old man who said can you give it for 10 dollars i have only that much of money and i know the son i would like to have him and all the people said okay give it to him we don't want and then the auctioneer said 10 dollars once twice thrice and the painting is sold and the auctioneer stood up and said the auction is over and all were puzzled what happened what are you speaking and the auctioneer said one who has the son will get everything one who takes the picture of the son will get all the pictures all the paintings in this house dear friends today in the gospel we heard the bible verse which is liked by most people quoted by so many people that is john 3 verse 16 for god loved the world so much that he gave his only son that all those who believe in him may not perish but have eternal life all those who have jesus christ will have everything and for us everything is eternal life for all that we do we say we pray all that we do it for gaining that eternal life and for us if we believe in jesus christ we will have eternal life that is the reward god is promising us jesus christ is the expression of god's love for all of us and jesus expressed his love for all of us on the cross dying on the cross and rescuing us from sin rescuing whole of humanity from this sinful 
world. Dear friends, these days, the readings emphasize on one fact of believing in Jesus Christ, accepting Jesus Christ as our Savior. We know the disciples found it difficult to believe in the resurrection of Jesus. And that is why Jesus appears to them many times and strengthens their faith. But we know Thomas found it difficult to accept him and he demanded for the sign. And Jesus comes to him and strengthens his faith. And there he expresses his faith saying, my Lord and my God. Dear friends, our Christian life will have meaning only when we accept Jesus Christ as our Savior. Our Christian life will have meaning and our Christian life will prosper only if we believe in Jesus Christ. But believing and accepting Jesus does not consist only in having a cross around our neck or having a beautiful painting of Jesus Christ in our walls. Accepting and believing in Jesus Christ is imitating Jesus Christ. Doing all what he told us to do. That is accepting and believing in Jesus Christ. But we know, unfortunately, these days, people don't even have a sign or a cross around their neck or any religious images in their homes, on their walls. All the other articrafts are there. All the demonic signs may be there around their neck. But then we don't have an image of Jesus Christ which reminds us of his great sacrifice and love for each one of us. Dear friends, believing and accepting Jesus Christ is imitating what he told us to do or imitating Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not just the object of worship but he is the source of everything. He is a person to be imitated. And imitating Jesus Christ is walking in the light of Christ. Being the children of light, shunning all the acts of darkness that is sinful life. So dear friends, today let us take action to be like Jesus. Let us love one another. Let us love every creature that God has created as we observe the earth today, let us have concern for every creature God has created. Let us take care of this beautiful earth. God has created this world, this earth, and found it beautiful. And it is our responsibility to keep it beautiful, not exploit and spoil it. Let us, in this whole Eucharist, pray for the grace that we may be like Jesus, loving one another, reaching out to people in need. For Jesus Christ, when we have Jesus Christ, we have everything. For he has said, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and you will have everything. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. With confidence, we bring our case and concerns before God the Father, who loved the world so much that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. That the Church may always be a living sign of God's love and mercy in times of darkness and despair, let us pray. In the, in the name, name of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. us that we may live in such a manner that the love of God may shine forth in all our actions. Let us pray. In the, in the name, name of Jesus, Jesus, bless us. That the love of God may bring peace into our hearts and harmony in our lives. Let us pray. In the, in the name, name of Jesus, Jesus, bless us. That through the care and attention shown by their family or friends, the sick and those who suffer may realize that they are loved by God. Let us pray. In the, in the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus, bless us. That our <clears throat> beloved dead may all share in the glory of the resurrection. Let us pray. In, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus, bless us. Heavenly Father, 
Look with love on all your children and guide us safely in our pilgrim journey. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine, work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when our Christ when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, you, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and help of Christians, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. John Bosco, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the save is command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, power and, the glory, and the glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, we live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the joyful sign of peace. Peace be with us. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Prayer for a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above everything, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you were already there, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Do not allow me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata against the spread of the coronavirus. Almighty ever-living God, source of all mercy and compassion, we come to you, to you in, these in these times, times of, of dire need, need and tremendous suffering. The lives of your people are beset by great tribulations brought about by the COVID-19. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray for all health workers who are the frontliners in this fight for survival. Doctors, doctors, nurses, nurses hospital, hospital staff, staff, and personnel who have, have themselves fallen under the weight of their immense duties and responsibilities in serving those who are infected with the disease. Grant, grant them health in mind and body, body in strength in their commitment, protection, protection from, from the disease, and for those who have succumbed to the sickness, eternal life in your heavenly kingdom. We pray, we pray for, for workers who tirelessly serve the needs of the people, those in authority in keeping peace and security, and those responsible in leading us to defeat this terrible scourge. Keep them strong and constant in their commitment in the midst of this difficult battle. We pray for those who have been infected by this virus, the dying, and those who have died in agony and loneliness. Let their suffering be their participation in the suffering of your Son. We pray lastly for the swift resolution of this sickness, for the discovery of a cure, and the restoration of the normal lives of peoples and communities. We ask all of this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, our divine healer, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Memorare prayer to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Remember, Remember O most, most gracious Virgin Mary, that, that never was it known that, that anyone who fled to your protection, protection implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the world incarnate. Despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Mary, Mother of Christ, pray for us. Entrustment of the home to Mary, help of Christians. Most, Most Holy, Holy Virgin Mary, Mary appointed, appointed by God, God to be the help of Christians, we choose you as the mother and protectress of our home. We ask, we ask you to favor us with your powerful protection. protection. Preserve our home from every danger, from fire, flood, lightning, storm, earthquake, thieves, vandals, and from every other danger. 
Bless us, protect us, defend us. Keep us your own, all the people who dwell in this home. Protect them from all accidents and misfortunes. But above all, obtain for them the most important grace of avoiding sin. Mary, help of Christians, pray for all those who live in this home, which is entrusted to you for all time. Amen. St. John Bosco, pray for us. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Good morning and uh, happy Easter still to all of you who are uh, even outside of uh, our parish of Mary Help of Christians. Yung po sa inyo na nasa iba't ibang lugar, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Some updates of our project, Adopt a Family in this Time of Need. Uh, we are grateful, very thankful to your immediate response to our plea for our people who would in time find it difficult to make both ends meet. Ang atin po ay pandugtong para sa kanilang pang-araw-araw sa mga oras ng tunay na pangangailangan. And um, we have uh, uh, conceptualized this project to give them something to eat, good rice. Yun lang muna ko. And um, um, salamat po sa Response. Ang bilis-bilis po ng response. And uh, we even uh, uh, take care of those who could not move out of the house. We pick up yung pong donations ninyo. Nagpupunta po doon yung staff natin sa parokya. At uh, nagpapasalamat din po kami na nagbibigay na kayo ng para sa Adapa family. May pinapadala pa kayong pagkain sa amin. May ulam kaming kasama, may prutas. May mga tsokolate pa ho. At may pa nagbibigay ng dark chocolate. Iba't iba ho. Alam nilang sweet tooth yung iba sa amin. Maraming salamat ho. Um, pero ho, thank you for responding. And ano po yung uh, ibibigay natin? Uh, it, meron po kaming ibibigay na rice tub sa kanila. At sa loob po ng rice tub na yan ay nakasulat, abot kamay, abot bigas. But good rice. Tapos so sa sa dulo, minakalagay ito for a constant reminder for those who have received ipagdasal ang uh, nag-abot at habang ipinagdarasal ang inabutan. We, we, we encourage please all you who have given to uh, to pray for those people, for those families to whom you have given your share. Um, they, we encourage them to pray for you, but also pray for them. Target po natin ay uh, 1,000 families. Uh, parang suntok sa buwan po? Hindi. As uh, uh, Father said, Father uh, Jacob, when we were starting the Mass, he says, if Jesus had multiplied uh, bread for the 5,000 with just a beginning of five or seven loaves. Uh, we have so many uh, little Jesuses in our parish and in the world to give those share for those that were in need. Jesus cared for the hungry. And so too, being little Jesuses, the, being lovers of Jesus in the same way that He has loved, ito po yung ating response sa kanila. So marami po salamat sa inyo. At... Uh, uh, ituloy po ninyo, kahit na ho, I spend so much time in answering your, uh, your texts, that is okay. Kasi ho, alam ko na bawat uh, tulog nun ay para sa iba ang pupuntahan. Thank you very much. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Good morning po sa inyong lahat. Happy Easter. Nandito po ako para announce po ulit ang mga winners ng ating uh, Bible Quiz Lockdown Challenge. Uh, mga winners po kahapon, April 21. Ang nakakuha po ng sack of fries to share ay si Miss Christy Kagais ng Ireland Street Better Living Subdivision. Congratulations po sa inyo. No? 
at we thank our sponsors, our sponsor for uh, the rice to share, Miss Dori Tandok. Thank you very much for your generosity and kindness. And then, as was said yesterday, po, ang uh, consolation prize for today ay medyo special dahil ang mga nanalo ng consolation prize ay, ay makakatanggap ng uh, Max's Fried Chicken. Yan. Sila ay si Hani Labial, Chanel Kagang, Patrick Galang, Luisa Exija, Elvi Dioso, Dani Del Rosario, Vanessa Agustin, Riza Mojica, Vu Hau, and Justin De La Cruz. Congratulations. No, you will receive uh, Max's fried chicken today. And they will be delivered to your homes. And we thank our sponsors, Kuya Peter and Ati Evelyn. Thank you very much no, for your generosity and support. Also, since today is Wednesday, it's a selfie day. No, so we have our selfie challenge for today, April 22. And the selfie challenge is selfie with your pet. And selfie with your pet. Uh, as regards the selfie challenge and the vlog challenge, no? uh, last Monday and yesterday, nag-submit po ng mga entries. Ang, uh, marami po sa inyo, mga parishioners and of course the youth. And I was so impressed by their entries kasi talagang nag-effort sila no? na picture na ng sarili nila at gumawa sila ng vlog. No? And nakakatuwang tignan po. At hindi lang yon nakakamangha rin po, no, nakaka-inspire. No, kung pakikinggan nyo po yung mga entries nila sa vlog, sa vlogs nila, no, matutuwa po kayo, makaka-relate sa mga sinasabi nila at may inspire no? At sana uh, patuloy po tayong mag-participate sa ating mga online activities no, dito sa parish. Uh, Magpunta uh, lang po tayo sa Facebook page ng uh, parish po natin, National Shrine of Mary Hope of Christians, at makikita niyo po doon yung mga posts galing sa Commission on Youth as regards these challenges. Napakaganda po. Ang dahil po nag-participate, young and old, even coming from different places, no? All the way from uh, Tondo, Cubao, Mandaluyong, no? at iba pang mga lugar. Siyempre, sa ating uh, uh, parokya dito. No? Uh, better living. Marami pong nag-submit. Yeah, tignan niyo po ang mga entries nila at matutuwa po kayo at may inspire. Ako po na-inspire sa mga sharing ng mga nagpadala ng vlogs. Thank you po sa mga nagpadala ng kanilang mga entries. Uh, once again, we continue inviting everyone to uh, participate in our online activities of the parish. God bless you and Happy Easter once again. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace and joy of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia.
of perpetual help. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful, Merciful Father, Father, you sent, sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you, merciful Father. Forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. From the cross Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on your us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear Mother, you, you willingly, willingly shared, shared in the sufferings, sufferings of your Son. Is strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of His will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest Mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us that He answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that He who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share His resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always loved others so much. Help us to do the same while praying, praying for, for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to the oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, Help, Help us to avoid sin which, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the Home 
Mother of Perpetual Help, we choose you as Queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they, May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we specially entrust the youth of the day. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in the genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help, Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Virgin conceived without sin. Pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help. Pray for us. We sinners call to you. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may become more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, Mother, pray for us. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may strive to be true Christian by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work consensuously. Loving Mother, pray for us. Us. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in a spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may care and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may defend human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That there will be a genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Let us now pray in silence for our personal intention. Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray, pray for, for all, all the people, people of God. God. May, May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Amen.
thanksgiving prayer. Please kneel. Lord Jesus Christ, truly, truly present, present in the, in the most, most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of his love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession, and especially through this novena, inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy and her perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love to the, the most holy trinity father son and holy spirit be honor glory and thanksgiving forever and ever amen prayer for the sick lord jesus christ you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience graciously hear our prayers for the sick Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and, and other, other afflictions, afflictions of illness, illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 